I'm LaShonda Scales, your commissioner for District 1 and president pro tem of the Jefferson County Commission. Now listen, today is the final day for you to be able to in-person absentee vote. I had the distinguished honor to be able to be out with those folk with Woke Vote along with Brianna Taylor's mother. I want you to hear how all of this excitement led to a movement, but the movement led to votes at the polls. Take a look. It's been a long, long time coming, but I know a change gonna come. Oh, yes it will. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Hi, my name is Dewana Thompson and I'm the creator of Woke Vote. We exist to continually encourage black voters to stay involved in the political process, to encourage their uh, political power, to encourage their activity in their community. And we are here today because we know that this is a state of emergency for this election cycle. November 3rd means so much to our communities. It means uh, access to health care, access to better education, uh, to make sure that we're not victims of police brutality and police and state violence. It means, uh, you know, job and, and, and uh, health equity. All those things are on the ballot for us in November. And so we launched along with our partners at Until Freedom, a state of the emergency vote tour, where we are going to 12 different cities, um, black cities across the country, making sure that people understand how critical this election is. When we're rolling up, we're going straight to polling locations, we're going in the neighborhood, and we are saying to them, listen, if you're not going to do it for anybody else, do it for our community. Vote for our communities. Vote for the Breonna Taylors. Vote for the George Floyds. Vote for the Sandra Blands. Vote for every single person who can't be here to vote today. This is a state of emergency. It is critical that our people get involved. And so we knew that we could, could not wait for other people to do it. So we jumped on the bus and we come in to their city. And we stopped today in Birmingham, Alabama. Obviously it's critical, it's a, it's a, it's a place where history has um, decided for so many years and for so many people what justice can look like. So we know that when the people come together, they can do extraordinary things. So we're here today together voting early uh, here at the courthouse. And it's so important to me, this is my home. I wanna be sure that we do everything that is possible to, e to educate and liberate ourselves through the power of the ballot. Thank you so much. Now, if you've been moved to action, and that's what this is all about, then I want you to make sure if you have an in-person absentee voted, come on now, today is the last day, Thursday, October 29th. And let me also tell you, if you say, well, I wanna wait till election day, that's fine too, but the main thing is get out to vote. Voting is a duty. It's not only a right, because black people haven't always had the right, it's a duty as an American citizen for you to exercise this right to vote. So I want you to make sure that you get those numbers on the screen right now for Jefferson County Courthouse and also Bessemer Circuit Clerk's Office. We want you to take advantage of this in-person absentee voting that will end today at 5 p.m. Otherwise, Make sure you take your friends, your families, your loved ones, encourage everyone to go vote on this upcoming Tuesday, November 3rd. I keep telling you about you and I working together to be the change that we got to see. Don't forget to download that free mobile app and I do love hearing from you. So I want you to make sure, look at that information right there and I want you to make sure that you give me some feedback. Let me know that this information is very important for you. I love you, God bless you, and bless Jefferson County and these United States of America. God bless you.